defense. HDS, sir, and how are you this afternoon? All righty then. I have a package for you. Sounds broken. Most likely, sir. I'll bet it was something nice, though. Now, this is an insurance form. If you'll just sign here, here, and here, initial here, and print your name here, we'll get the rest of the forms out to you as soon as we can. That's a lovely dog you have there, sir. Do you mind if I pet him? I don't give a rat's ass. Oh. Oh, you boo. Oh, you boo boo doo doo. You boo 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 doo boo. Oh, boo boo doo. You boo 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 That's fine, sir. I can finish the rest. You just have yourself a good day. Take care now. Bye bye then. There you go. No problem. It gets flooded. We'll just wait a few seconds. Uh, or we can try it now. Warning, uh, 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 assholes are closer than they appear. Not. No. 
Thank you, Mr. Ventura. How can I ever repay you? Well, the reward would be good. There is some damage to my car. It's a high-performance machine, so I had to fill it with premium. <laughs> would you like for me to take your pants off instead? Gee, let me think. Um, sure. Oh, jeez. Oh, 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 Pete! We're real friendly around here. Whoa! I'm sorry, sir. You sounded like someone else. Never mind the wise cracks, Ventura. <coughs> you owe me rent. Mr. Shikadance, I told you, you're my first priority. I'm on a very big case right now. Check this out. Look at that. That's a true albino pigeon. Some rich guy lost it. He's offering a $25,000 reward. As soon as I find this bird, you're paid. I heard animals in there, Ventura. I heard them again this morning, scratching around. I never bring my work home with me, sir. Oh, yeah? What's all this pet food for? Fiber. Want to take a look inside? Come on. Come on! Snoop around. Well, are you satisfied? Just don't let me catch you with an animal in here, that's all. All right. Take care now. <laughs> bye bye then. <laughs> Loser. Question. 
How in the hell do you lose a 500 pound fish? What? I'm sorry, sir. I was just going to say that it's not a fish. It's a mammal. Thank you, Miss Jock Cousteau. Dawn, she didn't mean anything by that. I don't give a good goddamn about that fish. Fillet it and fast food it if you want to. All I give a damn about is winning the Super Bowl. My athletes have got to have their heads in the right place. Shit, Roger, you've been in this business a long time. You know how superstitious these players are. I've got a quarterback that puts his socks on backwards half since high school. I've got a linebacker that has not washed his jockey strap in two years because he thinks flies are lucky. Now, I want that fish on that field Super Bowl Sunday. Find the fish or find new jobs. Why did it have to happen now, two weeks before the Super Bowl? I'll tell you who did it. It's those goddamn animal rights activists. Always out there with their goddamn signs. Animals were born free. Stop torturing Snowflake. That damn fish lives better than they do. Roger, the police are checking into the animal rights groups. Martha, have the police called back about the dolphin yet? No, but I wanted to tell you, when I lost my cuddles, I hired a pet detective. A what? A pet detective. Thanks, Martha, but we better leave this to professionals. Well, actually, he was quite good. Pet detection is a very involved, highly scientific process. Mr. Ventura here to see you. Thanks, Martha. Hi, I'm Melissa Robinson. Pleasure to meet you. Did you have any trouble getting in? No, the guy with the rubber glove was surprisingly gentle. Uh, security's tight, Super Bowl week. <sighs> Why don't you have a seat? I'll get right to the point, Mr. Ventura. Our mascot was stolen from his tank last night. Are you familiar with Snowflake? Negative. We got Snowflake from the Miami Sea Aquarium. He's a rare bottlenose dolphin. This is one of the new tricks he was going to do for the halftime show. Come on, Snowflake, let's go! Blue 42, blue 42. Put, put! Would you like an ashtray? Mm-mm. I don't smoke. It's a disgusting habit. Say hi to <laughs> Police were here this morning. Apparently, the kidnappers came in through the back gate. They said some kind of a... Four-wheel drive van loaded from the rear. Oh. Hey, Roger. How you holding up? Well, if I look like I'm walking funny, it's because I got two dozen reporters up my ass. They've been asking me about Snowflake all morning. Who's he? Roger Pedactor, meet Ace Ventura. He's our pet detective. Hi. Uh, nice to meet you. Came very highly recommended by Martha Metz. Martha Metz? Oh, yeah, the bitch. What? Pekingese, hyperactive, lost in Highland Park area. She was half dead when I found her. Is that the tank? Excuse me.
cops drain it? Yes, this morning. If I'm not back in five minutes, just wait longer. Start a 23.9, round it off to the nearest decimal point. We've traveled back in time to save an ancient species from total annihilation. So far, no signs of aquatic life, but I'm going to find it. If I have to tear this universe another black hole, I'm going to find it. I've got to, mister! Great. I'll see if I can hit them all. Ace, get out of the tank. I just can't do it, Captain. I do it half the time. People. I said get out of the tank now. For God's sakes, Jim, I'm a doctor, not a pool man. The Snowflake the is not available right now. Not available? Roger, been waiting all day. I gotta get a shot of his new trick for the evening news. What, is he sick? Oh, yeah, yeah, where is he? Is he? He must be missing. Hey, uh, hey, Ventura! Ventura! Make any good collars lately, or were they leashes? <laughs> uh oh. Homicide, Ventura. <laughs> no, how are you gonna stop that one? <laughs> Question, Aguado. First, I'd establish a motive. In this case, the killer saw the size of the bug's dick and became insanely jealous. <laughs> then I'd lose 30 pounds. Park and his wife! <laughs> oh, you... Come on! Now, kiss and make up. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you a few questions. God, this is not the time, Mace. If I don't want to come down here and see me talking to you or your ass, I'm history. I think I can keep him under control, but you'll have to tell me who's working the snowflake case. Hey, I can't do nothing for you on that. My hands are totally tied. All right, that's it. Now it's my turn. Five minutes alone. That's all I need. Come on. Better look alive. I'm horns on our way down. Ooh. Oh, oh, come on now, Ace, please, man, please. What's the matter, Emilio? Afraid I'll make a stink? Huh? Come on. All right, Aguado's working the case, all right? Aguado. Aguado? Good call. Look here. We're just a little busy right now with murderers and burglaries and drug dealers and things like that. A missing dolphin isn't exactly a high priority. Oh, now you've pissed him off. Please give me a break, man. I can't hold him much trouble. longer. My boss is coming, man. Okay, okay, look. We ran and checked with all the local animal rights groups. All right, we checked out the taxidermists and ran and checked through the local DMV on all recent van rentals. So far, nothing, Nathan, nada, all right? Any unusual bets being made? Of course it's bets being made. It's a Super Bowl. What'd you find out about the tank? Nothing unusual, okay? Some tire tracks, an escape route, and the guard didn't say anything. That's it? That's it, I swear. Now, would you please get the hell out of here before I get in trouble? 
thank you for all your cooperation. By the way, do you have a mint? Perhaps some banaka? Tuesday. What the hell is he doing here? I came to confess. I was the second gunman on the grassy knoll. Spare me the routine, Ventura. I know you're working the snowflake case. May I suggest you yield to the experts on this one? We'll find the porpoise. Whew. Now I feel better. Of course, that might not do any good. You see, nobody's missing a porpoise. It's a dolphin that's been taken. The common harbor porpoise has an abrupt snout, pointed teeth, and a triangular thoracic fin, while the bottlenose dolphin, or Terciops truncatus, has an elongated beak, round cone-shaped teeth, and a serrated dorsal appendage. But I'm sure you already knew that. That's what turns me on about you. Your attention to detail. Listen, pet dick. How would you like me to make your life a living hell? Well, I'm not really ready for a relationship, Lois, but thank you for asking. Hey, maybe I'll give you a call sometime. Your number's still 911? All righty then. Remember that. White? Hey, Woodstock! Hey, St. Francis, how's it going? Super, and thank you for asking. I hope you're having a lovely day. Do you? Don't I? So what are you up to, Mandinga? Just watching the fishies, man, old Shevitz. You see those blips? That's a Norwegian whaling fleet. I'm sending them new directional coordinates. They'll find Jimmy Hoffa before they find any humpback whales. Ah, <laughs> gravy. So can you still tap into the aquatic supply stores in the area? Of course I can. Why? I want to trace the sale of any equipment for transporting or housing a dolphin within the last few months. Come on, Ace. I thought you had a challenge for me. All right, we've got marine winch, sling, feeder fish, 20,000 gallon tank. Wait a minute. Here. Now that's a hell of a lot of equipment for a civilian. Ronald Camp, the billionaire? Yeah, a billionaire and rare fish collector. Really? That, my friend, is the face of the enemy. Always trying to get his greedy little hands on endangered species. Now hold on. Ronald Camp is connected with the dolphins? Yeah, that sub genius gave him the land the new stadium's built on. And look at this. He's throwing another I'm the richest man in the universe party. Hmm. Looks like it's time for me to get myself a date. I'm really going out on a limb here, Ventura. Camp social events are strictly A-list. Gee, Chuck, the date started off good, but just before we got to the party, she seemed to tense up. I swear, if you do anything to embarrass me in front of camp... What? 
like this. Hi, Captain Steubing. Howard Gopher and Doc. Permission to come aboard, sir. Melissa. Oh, hi, Ryan. Glad you could make it. Thank you. You look wonderful. Oh, thanks. And who is he, a friend? Um, no, this is, this is my date. <laughs> He's a lawyer. Well, does he have a name, or should I call him lawyer? <laughs> who? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is Ace... <laughs> Tom Ace. Tom Ace! Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Kemp. And congratulations on all your success. You smell terrific. I was just telling Melissa, one of the first lessons we learned back at Stanford Law was the modern proliferation of food poisoning claims against wealthy private homeowners. In fact, if one were so inclined, one could make quite a lucrative law practice with little else. <laughs> How is everybody feeling tonight? Very, very well, thank you. Oh, look, honey, there's the hors d'oeuvres. Are you insane? There is no way that camp stole the snowflake. What are you trying to do? Will you just keep him occupied while I work my magic, please? Yes, he is, isn't it? I got a few cases from my new dealer in Paris. Excuse me, Ron. I uh, need to use the bathroom. I think it's the bad day. Sure, it's over there. Thanks. <laughs> Stuff probably looks better on the way out, huh? He wasn't feeling well earlier today. Snowflake. 
Here, Snowflake. I've got a little snack for you. They're wonderful, aren't they? Yes, they, they certainly are. No matter what's going on in my life, I can always watch them swim and be totally at peace. It's not so sweet. It's not so sweet. I'm sure your dad is all right. It's been an awfully long time. Uh, who, Tom? Oh, I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> Do not go in there. Woo! I'm sorry, Mr. Ace. I have the plumbing checked immediately. Be sure that you do. If I'd been drinking out of the toilet, I might have been killed. I'm sorry again, Mr. Ace. Oh, what are you doing? I I'm sorry, Ron. What is he doing? Ace, what are... Let's go. Ace. Stop it. I don't even want to know why your pants are missing. I don't care what happened. You, you could have cost me my job. So you found a pebble in Snowflake's tank. Excuse me while I call CNN. I found it in the filter, thank you very much. And it's not a pebble. It's a rare triangular cut orange amber. Uh, what are you talking about? Tonight I saw the exact same stone in Camp's ring. I, I thought you said Camp didn't do it. No, Camp's clean. His ring wasn't missing a stone. But whoever was in that tank had a ring just like his. Wait a what ring? The 1984 Dolphin AFC Championship ring. I find the ring with the missing stone. I find Snowflake. How are you going to do that? Simple.
Ace, that stone could have come from anywhere. It could have come from a necklace or a, a pendant, an earring. It came from an 84 AFC championship ring. You know, Lieutenant Einhorn thinks that it may have been an animal rights group. Have you ever heard of FAN? Free Animals Now, started in 1982 by Chelsea Gamble, daughter of the famous industrialist Fisher Gamble. Over half a million members from Florida to Finland? No. Who are they? Well, did you know that last year they sent 127 threatening letters to different college teams demanding the release of their mascot? We feed your dog. Oh, dog food. Why? He is miserable. Oh. What are you talking about? He's just very unhappy. I feel sorry for him. Bad diet, isolated environment. It's amazing he's still alive. <laughs> you know what? You're just mad because your stupid little pebble theory didn't work out. <coughs> and you don't know how to express your anger. Yeah, and you're ugly. You know what? I'm not even going to talk to you. Would you please leave? Why? So you can beat him? Fatty. You're unbelievable. You know, hiring you was the biggest mistake I ever made. Well, why don't you cry about it? Saddlebags? Like her, huh? Yeah, she's all right. Melissa! Look, Melissa, I, uh... Towers, a luxury condo complex in North Miami, where Roger Pedactor, head of operations for the Miami Dolphins, has apparently committed suicide, allegedly leaping to his death from his own 20th story balcony. Lieutenant Lois Einhorn, the Miami Police Department. You okay? Well, I told you I was in my apartment across the hall. Yes, ma'am. I heard a scream, uh -huh. so I called the manager. Now well, the place was empty except for that damn dog in the other room. I opened the balcony door and looked over the railing. Slap, bang, pancake time. Okay, thank you very much. I'm going to leave one of my cars. Animals can sense evil. Who let Dr. Doolittle in? Oh, uh, Lieutenant. He came with Miss Robinson. This is official police business. We'll let you know if the coroner finds a tick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just figured says. E, forget it. She's right. Besides, I wouldn't want somebody tracing my steps, pointing out all the mistakes I was making. an obvious suicide, Mr. Pet Detective? Well, I wouldn't say that. Lord knows there's plenty of evidence here to support your theory. Except, of course, for that spot of blood on the railing over there. May I tell you what I think happened? Alrighty then. Roger Pedactor went out after work. He had a few drinks and he came home. But he wasn't alone. Someone else was with him in this apartment. There was a struggle, and he was thrown over that balcony. Roger Pedactor didn't commit suicide. He was murdered. Well, that's a very entertaining story. But unfortunately, real detectives have to worry about that little thing called evidence. Uh-oh. I think I heard a toilet flush. <laughs> Maybe somebody lost a turtle. <laughs> Well, I guess I'm a little out of my league here. Einhorn, good work. Ooh. Oh, there is just one more thing, Lieutenant. This woman is Roger Pedactor's neighbor. She lives across the hall. She said she heard a scream. Is that right, ma'am? Right. And you said you had to open the balcony door when you keyed into the room? That's true. You're certain you had to open this door. 
Yeah, I'm certain. What's the point, Ventura? Only this. This is double pane soundproof glass. There's no way that neighbor could have heard Pedactor scream on the way down with that door shut. The scream she heard came from inside this apartment before he was thrown over the balcony and the murderer closed the door before he left. Yes! Yes! Oh, yeah! Can you feel that, buddy? Huh? 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 I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. Losers? Get them out of here! Losers! Let's go, Ace. Losers. Let me be heard. Come on, Ace. Back to the zoo. What are you thinking? You thinking this whole thing is connected somehow? You thinking I want to find that other ring? You checked all the rings. Receipts. What about receipts? There's got to be receipts. You know, that was pretty impressive what you did back at the apartment. You don't have to tell me. I was there. Maybe you should have joined the police force. I'm a real detective. I don't do humans. You really love animals, don't you? If it gets cold enough. <laughs> no, I have a kinship with them. I, uh, I understand them. Want to hear something kind of spooky? Sure. One time when I was about 12, I had this dream that I was being followed by a big dog with rabies. He had these really bloodshot eyes and foam coming out of his mouth. No matter how fast I ran, he just kept gaining on me and gaining on me and gaining on me. Then just before I got to my front door, he jumped and sank his teeth in. That's when I woke up and felt the back of my neck. Check that out. That's <laughs> turn. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just couldn't help myself. You really want to know why I do what I do? No, I'm not sure I really want to know anymore. Well, you'd better be sure. Because once you get inside my head, there's no turning back, baby. <laughs> so, um... <clears throat> Sell the receipts. There's only a dozen of them. No, maybe it's in another file, in the back or something. Here. Who the hell is that? What? That? Who the hell is that? That's Ray Finkel, the kicker. Don't you know who Ray Finkel is? No. How come he's not in this picture? This was taken earlier in the year. Ray Finkel wasn't added to the roster till mid-season. He's the guy who missed the final field goal in the Super Bowl that year. Cost the Dolphins the game. But he got himself a ring, didn't he? Definitely. Replacement kicker having a great year. Ready for Super Bowl all-star kicker boasts. Field goal, sales wide, Dolphins lose Super Bowl. The kick heard round the world. That was Finkel. The Dolphins lost by one point. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy with a motive, baby. Where is he now? Last I heard, he went back to his hometown in Collier County. <laughs> you are going to drop me off before you go, aren't you? No way. You shouldn't be left alone right now. It might not be safe at your apartment. What do you suggest?
Oh my god. Three times? I'm sorry. That's never happened to me before. I must be tired. Uh. Okay, I'm ready again. <gasps> I'm looking for Ray Finkel and a clean pair of shorts. What do you know about Ray Finkel? Soccer style kicker, graduated from Collier High, June 1976, Stetson University Honors graduate, class of 1980. Holds two NCAA Division I records, one for most points in a season, one for distance. Former nickname, The Mule, the first and only pro athlete ever to come out of Collier County and one hell of a model American. Are you another one of them hard copy guys? No, sir. I'm just a very big Finkel fan. This is my Graceland, sir. Will you put that gun Wait. down? The boy is a fan of our son. So nice to meet you. I'm Ray's mother, and this is Ray's father. It's a real honor. Well, it's an honor to have you in our home. My Ray is so appreciative of his fans. He'll be so pleased you stopped by. Are you expecting Ray anytime soon? Oh, yes. I expect him home any minute. <sighs> Would you like some cookies? I just baked them. Yummy. Wow. Ray Finkel's house. I can't wait to meet him. Ray ain't coming home. But your wife said you expect him home any minute. She expects him home any minute. See, the engine's running, but uh, there's nobody behind the wheel. I mean, eight years ago, our son escaped from Shady Acres Mental Hospital in Tampa. And they're still bugging us to pick up his stuff. It was all that Dan Marino's fault. Everyone knows that. If he had held the ball laces out like he's supposed to, Ray would never have missed that kick. Dan Marino should die of gonorrhea and rot in hell. Would you like a cookie, son? Hmm. What do you know? They're little footballs. <laughs> laces out. When Ray gets back and starts kicking again, he'll never even know he was gone. I've kept his room just the way he left it. Oh, boy. What a sports nut, huh? Ace, where are you? 
I'm in Psychoville and Finkel's the mayor. Where's Dan Marino? Marino, why? Because he's about to join Snowflake. I've got to know where he is! All right, he had a practice and then he has a commercial shoot at, at the Bogart soundstage. Okay, call the police. Get extra security over there, now. Ace, what's going on? Ace! Ace! Thought I left, didn't you? <laughs> okay, I'm really gonna go this time. folks, very quiet, and... Hi, I'm Dan Marino, and if anyone knows the value of protection, it's me. So I take care of the hands that take care of me. With lights of toner glow. Cut, again from the top. I said cut. Guys, it's a cut. And what the hell are they doing? That's a cut. Guys, it's oh, a cut. Let's go. What is this, a rewrite? Shut up! Schedule. Why wasn't the public told about Snowflake's kidnapping? Secrecy was essential. We couldn't risk any public interference. Are the crimes related? And what about Roger Padakis' murder? I'm sorry, I can't comment further. Now, if you'll excuse me. Please, Please. 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 Emilio, get me the autopsy on Padactor. Guado, send out a memo. No one talk to the press. Yes, ma'am. And somebody get me some coffee! Tonight on Miami Vice, Crockett gets the boss a coffee. Ventura? When I get out of that bathroom, you better be gone. Is it number one or number two? I just want to know how much time I have. Hey, uh, by the way, I went ahead and solved that pesky snowflake pedactor Marino thing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you ever heard of a former dolphin kicker named Ray Finkel? All right, Ventura. Make it quick. I found a rare stone at the bottom of Snowflake's tank. It belongs to a Dolphin 84 AFC Championship ring. It would have been a Super Bowl ring, but Ray Finkel missed the big kick. Blames the whole thing on Marino. We're talking paranoid delusional psychosis. I saw the guy's room. It's cozy if you're Hannibal Lecter. So how does Roger Pedactor fit in? My guess is Finkel was snooping around, Pedactor recognized him. End of story. As for Snowflake, they gave him Finkel's number, taught him how to kick a field goal. Finkel took it personally. So where is Finkel now? Busted out of a mental institute, did a Claude Rains. He's been plotting his revenge for years, waiting for the perfect time to get back at the Dolphins, the time when it would hurt them the most. Super Bowl time. Man, I'm tired of being right. Congratulations. You've done some fine detective work. Ace. I'm sorry, could you speak into my good ear? I thought I heard you call me Ace. Maybe I was wrong about you. Maybe you are more than just a pet dick. You're gun is digging into my hip. What's wrong, Ace? Want me to read you your rights? <sighs> Maybe later. What is it? 
That bony little bitch, Melissa Robinson? No, you just don't do anything for me. Down, boy! Everything okay in here? I heard some commotion. Fine, Sergeant. You want me to throw him out? Why don't you throw yourself out? Yes, ma'am. Ace, I want you to leave everything to us. I can't do that, Lieutenant. I was hired to find Snowflake. When we find Marino, we'll deliver Snowflake. When I find Snowflake, I'll deliver Marino. Melissa, it's Ace. Ace, what are you doing here? It's the middle of the night. You have to commit me. Finkel escaped from Shady Acres in Tampa. They still have some of his stuff. Ace, they're not just going to let us waltz in and look around. I know. It's a good thing I'm a master of disguise. Mrs. Robinson, I'm Dr. Handley. Hi. Uh, now, who is it that you'd like us to have a look at? My brother, Larry. I'm ready to go in, Coach. Just give me a chance. I know there's a lot riding on it, but it's all psychological. Just got to stay in a positive frame of mind. I'm going to execute a button hook pattern super slow-mo. See that in an instant replay. I am a yummy day, game I like my day. I don't think I am a day. Your brother won't be the first professional football player we've treated. Is that right? Yes, we're very sensitive to the emotional stress that athletes have to endure. I'm open, I'm open. We'll have to do some preliminary evaluations, but I think your brother will fit in nicely here. Over here! 351! 351! Rover, sit! Hut, hut! He seems to have some difficulty letting go of the game. Has he had a long history of mental illness? As long as I've known him. And uh, this is one of our therapy rooms. And uh, we do arts and crafts out here in the courtyard. And this is the storage room. And down the hallway here, we have another. He'll be fine there by himself for the next. 20 minutes. Well, why don't I show you the dormitories then? Great. Dr. Hyatt, please call page operator. Dr. Hyatt, please call page Obsessed 
much. Hey, hey, where are you going now? I'm going to clean the store. No, 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 you're supposed to clean the cafeteria. Okay, I don't tell you how to do the job. Look, it says here on the schedule to clean the cafeteria. I know what I'm doing. Do you understand that? You should have cleaned it earlier. Come on. Look, empty my ass. I'm cleaning it here. No, no, you take breaks too long. You smoke. You Man, nothing. you a pain in the ass. Search called off for missing hiker. A massive search ended today when rescue workers were unable to find the body of Lois Einhorn. A hiker missing since Friday. Lois Einhorn. Holy shit balls. Wiggles, rewind. What the hell does Lois Einhorn have to do with Ray Finkel? Come on. Think! Finkel and Einhorn in it together. How? Why? All right, here we go. Answer's right there. Just got to get some blood to the brain. Finkel and Einhorn. Finkle and Einhorn, 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 Finkle and Einhorn. Winner? What do you want? Huh? I don't have any food for you. I have to have money to buy food. I have to have a dolphin to get the money. I don't see a dolphin around here. Do you? <sighs> Let's face it. Your master is a loser. Lou Hill. Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn. Einhorn is a man. Oh my God. Einhorn is a man. Oh, 
digging into my head. And the big story in this Super Bowl game, just moments away, is the abduction of Miami's starting quarterback, number 13, Dan Marino. It's got to be a strain on this Miami team. <laughs> Aren't you having fun? I just love Super Bowl Sunday, don't you, Dan? A magical afternoon where dreams are made. I'm crushed. Look, lady, if you want tickets, you're going about it the wrong way. Do I look familiar to you, Dan? Does it seem as if we've met someplace before? I, I don't know. I get hit in the head a lot. Some refreshments, Dan. I'll be right back, Dan. Psycho woman's paying you, but I'll double it. Hey, sorry, Danny boy. A psycho woman keeps us out of prison. Hey, Snowflake. There you go. Come on. Check it out, Marino. I'm throwing passes to a dolphin. We'll get some more fish. I'm gonna kill that dolphin. Lovely party. Pity I wasn't invited. Where the hell's the smelt? Hmm. Unconscious, exactly as I planned. <laughs> Rock! Now who was that? Ventura, pet detective. I've been sent in with a special play. Quarterback sneak. Penalty. Too many men on the field. I warned you, Ventura. Whatever happened to Ace? Good question. Be careful with that phone, Lieutenant. In time, you could develop a tumor. Aguado is Lieutenant Einhorn, 
Send some men over to the Hollandale Yacht Basin on Victoria Road. I've got the kidnapper trapped in the warehouse. It's Ace Ventura, pet detective. <laughs> Three Victorville Road at the old Hollandale Yacht Basin. Officer needs backup. Suspect's name Ace Ventura. Male Caucasian should be considered armed and dangerous. It's Ace. We gotta break out of here. Emilio, is he in trouble? Don't worry. There's one thing I know. There's nothing Ace can't handle. <laughs> Don't kill me. Please. I'll never tell anyone, I swear. He's the one you want. Kill him! No, no, kill him! No, kill, kill him! him. Kill he him. held He's the ball, the remember? Come on, look at the guy! Cry, baby. Jock. Wimp. Muscle head. Shut up! I think I'll kill the dolphin first. I wouldn't want you to miss that. And there's a snap, the kick. And it's good. Miami is Good to see somebody who doesn't buckle under the pressure. What would you know about pressure? Well, I have kissed a man. Of course, there's never been a more crucial kick in a Super Bowl than the famous kick heard around the world. I mean, it's clear to me that it was a good hold. Finkel just booted it. The lasers were in! They were in! Trouble with the lady ace? <sighs> you don't understand. She's a. Get him, Louis! Get him! Get him! Shut up! Shut up! Hold your fire! Don't shoot! Put your guns down or this cop gets it. I mean it! She's not joking! He kidnapped Snowflake! He killed Roger Padaccio and he was just about to kill Dameron on me! Oh, ho, oh. ho! Fiction can be fun, but I find the reference section much more enlightening. For instance, if you were to look up professional footballs all-time bonehead plays, you might read about a Miami Dolphin kicker named Ray Finkel, who missed a 26-yard field goal in the closing seconds of Super Bowl 17. What you wouldn't read about is how Ray Finkel lost his mind, was committed to a mental hospital only to escape and join the police force under the assumed identity of a missing hiker, manipulating his way to the top in a diabolical scheme to get even with Dan Marino, whom he blamed for the entire thing. What the hell are you talking about? She's not Louis Einhorn. She's Ray Finkel. She's a man. He's lying. Shut up! <laughs> Let's just see who's lying, shall we? Would a real woman have to wear one of these? Ah. Ah. Boy, that's really on there. But tell me this. Would a real woman be missing these? <laughs> that kind of surgery can be done over the weekend. But I doubt very much if he could find the time during his busy schedule to get rid of big old Mr. Kanish. Oh, boy. Psst, psst. Ace, come here. We 
Would you excuse me for just one second? Ladies and gentlemen, my esteemed colleague, Mr. Marino, has just brought some new evidence to my attention. Now, history has certainly shown that even the most intuitive criminal investigator can be wrong from time to time. But if I am mistaken, if the lieutenant is indeed a woman, as she claims to be, then my friend, she is suffering from the worst case of hemorrhoids I have ever seen! That's why Roger Pedactor is dead! He found Captain Winky! Good night, everybody! You've been a wonderful audience. I'll be here all week. Be sure to tip your waitress. Die, animal boy! Quick decision. what you've just done? You just cost me 25 grand, Polly. Yeah? Blow me. <laughs> really? <laughs> Put that big ass size 13 on and kick it for the homies. Tricks, eggs, 
He's the number one bet, dick. No room for a fire, man. When your cat's up a tree, he's the one that you hire, man. No one to bring her back alive if your cat scratch or if your turkey got jive. A little local with conveys, but still got charm. Brought her back to old McDonald's farm. So hey, diddle, diddle, it's late in the park. Chasing more pets than no one is all. No need for a paint, his numbers get deleted. Ain't so the case and the job is completed. Simple as Simon, when I start rhyming, always tell the truth so you know I'm not lying. Down with the ladies as a lover, undercover. Yo, tell him where he's at, my brother. So must be low, blowing up like a cloud of smoke. Checking all of his bitches at home, but I'm the dog with the biggest bone. I rip the mic like flyers, no one flyer. Yo, ace is for hire. Floor room showpiece, solve a book, find it a hot damn police. Trying to do it legal. Looking for a dolphin beating on an eagle. Nothing ever planned. Remember, he's got the face of a helpful detective, man. Crazy like Harpo. Busted out windows in his Monte Carlo. Loud clothes, black boots. Dutched out here, no time for a suit. But I don't give a damn if he's way out. Yo, tell him who's in the house. Tell him one more time. Tell him who's in the house. I don't believe they heard you. Is he running things? Is he doing? 